All right, what do we have to know about inventory errors? Any question they ask about inventory errors comes down to the relationship between inventory and cost of goods sold. You may have learned the cost of goods sold formula. So let's review that formula. Beginning inventory plus purchases equals total goods available for sale. You can never sell more than what you started with plus what you purchased. So if total available for sale is 10, because beginning inventory was zero and purchases are 10, then all you need to do is count how many goods are left at the end. So if six are left at the end and a total available for sale was 10, then cost of what was sold must be four. And we call the four cost of goods sold. And how do we get that? Beginning inventory plus purchases equals total available for sale. Subtract what's still there at the end, and that's the cost of what was sold. And now we can determine if we made any profit, because if the cost of goods sold was $4 and sales are $20, then the profit, gross profit, is said to be 16 The higher the cost of goods sold, the lower the gross profit. Note the inverse relationship between cost of goods sold and gross profit. If sales are 20 and cost of goods sold is four, then gross profit is 16. But we said the higher the cost of goods sold, the lower the gross profit. So if cost of goods sold was suddenly five, then gross profit would only be 15 instead of 16. So note that there's an inverse relationship between cost of goods sold and gross profit. Do you see another inverse relationship here? You probably noticed one earlier. Note how ending inventory and cost of goods sold have an inverse relationship. We said available for sale is 10, ending inventory is six, meaning that cost of goods sold is four. Well, if ending inventory, instead of being six, if it was $7, then cost of goods sold would be $3. There's an inverse relationship between ending inventory and cost of goods sold. As ending inventory goes up, cost of goods sold goes down. And hey, as cost of goods sold goes down, gross profit goes up. So maybe you notice that there's also a direct relationship here between what? Ending inventory and gross profit. Because if ending inventory was seven instead of six, cost of goods sold would be three instead of four. And then gross profit would be 17 instead of 16, assuming sales are constant at 20. All right, let's try this one. The relationship between ending inventory and A, cost of goods sold is direct. Is the relationship direct between ending inventory and cost of goods sold? No, it's inverse. As ending inventory goes up, cost of goods sold goes down. That's not direct, that's inverse. A's out, let's try B. The relationship between ending inventory and gross profit is inverse. As ending inventory goes up, gross profit goes down. No, the relationship between ending inventory and gross profit is direct, so B's out. C, the relationship between ending inventory and cost of goods sold is inverse. Yes, let's go with C. So the answer is C because the relationship between ending inventory and cost of goods sold is inverse. Ending inventory higher, cost of goods sold lower. If ending inventory is overstated, cost of goods sold is understated. And what would that do to gross profit? Gross profit would be overstated. The relationship between cost of goods sold and A, gross profit is direct? No, the relationship between cost of goods sold and gross profit is inverse. A is out. B. Gross profit is inverse. Yes, that says it best because the relationship between cost of goods sold and gross profit is inverse. If cost of goods sold is overstated, gross profit is going to be understated. B looks good. How about C? Relationship between cost of goods sold and ending inventory is direct? No, it's inverse. Cost of goods sold up, ending inventory down. Letter B is the correct answer. The exam is going to test you on these relationships. The relationship between cost of goods sold and gross profit is inverse. As cost of goods sold increases, gross profit decreases. If cost of goods sold is overstated, gross profit is understated. Ending inventory has a direct relationship with which of the following? 
Would it be gross profit? Yes. As ending inventory goes, so goes gross profit. If a company wants to show less profit, all they got to do is show less ending inventory. So letter A looks good. How about B? Ending inventory, does it have a direct relationship with cost of goods sold? No. Ending inventory has a direct relationship with gross profit, an inverse relationship with cost of goods sold. All right, first we walked, then we walked a little faster. Now we're going to run. This is a little more sophisticated a question, the kind of question I think you're going to see on the exam. If ending inventory is overstated by $5,000, A, cost of goods sold is overstated. If ending inventory is overstated, could cost of goods sold be overstated? No. So A and B are out. Helps to know the basics, right? Let's go to C. Cost of goods sold is understated by 5,000 because there's that inverse relationship between ending inventory and cost of goods sold. Okay, I'm good with you there. And gross profit is understated by 5,000. Well, wait a minute. Ending inventory has a direct relationship with gross profit. So if ending inventory is overstated by 5,000, gross profit has to be overstated by 5,000 also because they have a direct relationship. So C is out, the answer must be letter D. So be ready for a question just like this. All right, let's try this one. If ending inventory is understated by 12,000, what do you think the answer is? Leave it for me in the comments section. And don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot. And if you need more help with the EA exam, go to cpaexamtutoring.com. We now offer the complete EA review, parts one, two, and three. There's also a three-part bundle, which is a huge special right now. You click that, you get the full EA for just $2.99, and you'll have access until you pass. The right teacher makes all the difference. So get yourself on I-75 with me, Darius Clark, and be home soon.